Yes, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to my class for my ITC 100, the intro to computing. So good morning, everyone. So to my students, uh, please tell your classmates that we are live now. Send a message over, over the GC. Yes, good morning, Giselle. Good morning, Jumer. Good morning, Alger. Good morning, Angeli. Good morning, Anna Chris. And good morning, PJ Kate. So please tell your classmates that we are starting our class now para madali tayo matapos <laughs> we will just continue our uh, topic for the uh, networking security and the internet so afterwards uh, so that you can enjoy now your uh, day four because today is tjf thanks god it's friday yes good morning everyone So, yeah, still fixing talaga with my calm. I don't know what happened. So, hopefully, maybe next week. I hope it will not uh, push me to buy a new <laughs> a new camera. Wala pa ako, pero pambili po. Again, don't forget to thumbs up. So we are still 15. So moving, uh, looking for an attendance of uh, 20, at least uh, 20 or 30. Para makorunta. Sino yung hindi naka V more. V more atom profile pick up. Kindly change it. I think last Wednesday, ganun din yung ano, ano yun. Wala kang profile pick, so yeah. It's really hard to identify. At least man lang my profile pick ka. Though we have this online class, at least ma ano natin siya ma appreciate by looking na lang sa pictures. Uh, okay, I think we almost have our, yeah, oh my god, I'm not really so sure, but I think our final exam will be on 29, I mean midterm. Uh, last two topics na lang. Malapit na pala yung midterm no Then, yeah. December na. Darali aras sa panahon ron eh.
17 pa lang. Wala lang papasok. Well. And see. Ayan. 17 region na doon. Anyways, they, they don't they really don't want an extra points. That's why uh, they prefer just to review this uh live live class. So okay, we cannot uh, force them, the man. But yeah, so Monday, uh, just prepare for a short quiz for this chapter. No, just a short quiz, the man. And please, be, since it's a short quiz. So every Monday and yeah, Friday time and quiz. Okay, so we cannot wait for them. No? Um, this is just another uh, one. Ah, uh, continuation lang po sa topic natin and yeah, konti na lang talaga. So we just need to discuss it. So before that, what was our previous lesson? Nga? Anyone? Uh, if you will recall, uh, we discuss about what? <laughs> no, wala na maka remember. Ah, hindi pa pala to. Yeah, we... <laughs> that's our, no? That's the main topic talaga. The... the... Ah, hindi yan. Not the internet and the world wide web. We're done with that. We are now to the chapter 9, which is the... Um, the network then the internet security internet pas lang magulaw na sa ano ba sa cc inter internet ano sa ma ma ano yun po internet bisa yung pagka internet <laughs> internet <laughs> silenty okay so sa detalye na wala na tuloy ako Network and internet security, yes. So, uh, what about the network and internet security? So, we discussed um, uh, last Wednesday about the hacking, the wire driving, the access control systems. Then, we have this uh, two-way or two-factor authentication, no? So, I, I even tried to share the 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 updates of the Facebook or the Meta, no? They have now uh, forcing or yeah, requiring talaga the two authentication. Then we also discuss about controlling access to wireless networks, uh, securing, uh, securing a wireless home router if you have these um, uh, fiber connections sa bahay. So how are you going to secure this uh the router password no because if you're going to use just the default password then surely uh it could be uh, easily hacked because there are already applications that could hack uh default password used by this uh the PLDT the globe or the um the spark provider no so, dalit na kayo siya mahap. That's why, uh, better to try to change it, no? And there are three ways on doing it, so. Okay, so, yun. Then, 
securing the BYOD. So we we have this term uh, BYOD. So bring your own device. No, instead of using the device by our uh, the company that you are working, so it's preferred to use your own device, which in which it could be uh, uh, you can bring it home uh, for securing the data that you have. Because sometimes if we left our data on the uh, company or the office that we're working, so there's a uh, how I call it, but uh, eighty percent, or that it could be hacked. Okay. So this morning, as continuation, um, let me share my screen. Mm -hmm. So we continue now to um sabotage. Uh. Just ano ha, just tell me if you could not see, no? Baka matakpad kasi sa ano no, yung sa picture ko ba, sa left bottom. Ah, uh, ipun siya madrag. Pangit mo ko yung ani. Oh, namaya po doon. Ah, uh, this one. Gusto na ko ani para whole screen. Hindi po na ako gusto na. The whole. Okay, so we are now in the computer sabotage. So, computer sabotage is an act of malicious uh, destruction to a computer or computer resource. So, for example, is uh, launching a computer virus and denial of service uh, or the DOS attack. So this is common naman dyan yun, kanyang launching of computer virus. So sending by email, no? And especially when you try to send an email, once you open it, no? And there is a suspicious, uh, how we call that one? Suspicious, uh, ah, it is suspicious that since we are triggered that this document is really some, somehow, um, ano, that's why we try to open it but unfortunately when we try to open it yun na pala there is a worm or what type of uh, viruses is that no then it will really um destroy the data in our computer not really destroy no somehow lang talaga yung for example uh, we experienced that one dito sa ano no sa school na one of my colleagues talagang na ano siya na uh, victim ayun na wala amot na digi na delete niya ang files then most of the files na sin drives were in shortcut no so ganun then we have this bot bot botnet a group of bots computer controlled by a hacker that are controlled by one individual and work together in a coordinated fashion. So, muna po siya AI na siya, no? I mean, uh, yeah. It's not really an AI, kasi yung AI is ano man siya. But somehow, it could be uh, controlled by AI or nanay siya gita. It's a programmable robots, no? Controlled by hackers. So, gita ka na siya instruction, kumbaga. Then, used by... Sana yung, ano ko, draw. Yeah. And used by... Bother, uh, bother there's criminals to send a spam, ito, launch internet attacks, and spread mal malware. So, ayan. So, instead of, ano, um, kasi yung ginagawa ni hacker is, uh, uh, he tried to attempt talaga doing it to many, ano, not just one, no, but trying to attempt, uh, for example, ito mga websites ng government, they're trying to attempt to enter the website, hack it that the government can no longer uh, use, no? But but by doing it, so, so uh, instead of one at a time lang ang iyong hack, so they have this uh, group boots, no? Computers controlled. So one hacker will do just a, uh, give an instructions to hack or to get inside of this specific uh, government website then so not only just one ang iyang ma ano ma 
try ni yan uh, uh, pasok but uh, as much as possible all of the website kasi nga and we have this group boots no then we have this malware no this is a common ano issue sa atong ano dyan, no? especially um sa our flash drive so any type of malicious software written to perform destructive acts uh, damaging programs deleting files erasing drives and etc so natin ginatawag na logic bomb and time bomb so of course malware uh yun nga i think yung na receive din na uh, my colleague is a malware then talaga it deleted all the files to then yun nga uh, meron siyang ano uh nagkaroon na uh, instead of ano most of his files talaga is naka zip na siya or naka shorten bitaw a shortcut rather so ayun din na siya ma-open so ang daming files na na naapektuhan kaya ni list a uh, reformat yun niya yung ko ano uh, reformat niya ang iyang laptop then writing malware is considered unethical no uh, disturbing is illegal now what is a uh, uh, logic bomb so so logic bomb are subtle uh, or sophisticated cybersecurity attacks so but the damage uh, can be explosive so again a uh, logic bomb is a malicious piece of code that's secretly inserted to a computer network or operating system or software application and it lies dormant until a specific condition occurs then when this condition is met the logic bomb is triggered and devastating a system by corrupting data deleting the files or clearing hard drives so moto siya ang logic bomb however ang time bomb is um so siya so uh, if ganun ang logic bomb, ang time bomb naman is a part of computer program that has, uh, this has uh, written so that it will start or stop functioning after predetermined date or time is reached. So, manit siya. So, ang term po na time bomb does not refer to a program that starts functioning a specific number of days after uh it was installed instead the term uh trial where applies so one is different logic and time bomb now we go now to the computer viruses so ito talaga yung uh pinaka <laughs> pinaka crucial na mahita bo sa to unit no so a software program installed without the user knowledge without the user knowledge and design to alter the way a computer operates or to cause harm to the computer system. Often embedded in downloadable, uh, downloaded programs and emails, messages such as games, video, and music files. So careful you telling computer virus. Uh, well, sabi nga nila is uh, they are making this computer virus din naman so that to test talaga if this software or this especially this OS is capable ba siya mahap no so sabi uh, uh, mismo din talaga yung nag <laughs> sa akong ano na before uh, it was said that mismo din yung mga uh, uh, those developer of the software and say, uh, not just uh, they are hiring this developer, but also these uh, hackers, so that the one that made by the developers will be it like uh, there will be a testing by the hackers. If you hacker can hack this software made by the developers, so that will be mean that the developers' uh, software is not really uh, good or somehow like that. 
na so they are just the one who's making this ano din, computer viruses no the one who made this uh software or deals uh yeah os or developer of the software then we have this computer worm the common ano din, so malicious program designed to spread rapidly by sending copies of itself to other computers via networks so si can easy computer worm um uh, uh, he's trying to uh duplicate talaga the ano uh your file then it will send 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 sa imo sa tanan nimo dito na files for example sa drive d no then somehow it's typically sent as an email attachment so monitored po ni no pag click nimo wa na pa download na dito na magsugod sugod na tinga ka nagka shortcut shortcut i not just shortcut but nagka duplicate ang imong mga files sa imong unit because uh, it is uh, made by the computer worm so we have this uh, uh sorry siya uh, figure 9.14 how a computer virus or other uh, type of malicious software might spread so of course it started from the internet no ayan so ito yung si programmer i uh, know say uh and yun para my description so for example So a computer virus originates when a unscrupulous programmer intentionally creates it and embeds it in a file. The infected file is then posted to a web page where it will be downloaded via the internet or is sent as an email attachment to a large group of people. So dito yun mag start. So mag send i-attach ni uh ni hacker no sa email. Then of course ito yung mga receiver tayo. Ayan. Either sa cell phone, sa tab, and sa PC. Then, of course, no matry man ano yag ano. So, when the uh, infected file is open on a computer, the virus copies itself so that the computer hardware and computer becomes infected. The virus may then email itself to people in the new infected computers, email address book, or copy itself to any removable storage medium inserted into the computer. So, ayan, pag ma-receive na ni, um, ni receiver yung email, so since na-open man niya, that's an hour siya, so what, then this computer is inserted or connected to your company's network. So, since it was already infected, so siya na mismo ang musen. So, mayroon siyang computer uh, company network. So, isa na na niya permitted. Even those uh, devices that what attach sa imong computer, ayan, like this one, na siya flash drive. So, pag-click na, ay pag-passlock na po niyo sa imong flash drive dili sa imong unit, automatic po na siya ma-infected na, no? So, a virus can spread very quickly because every computer that comes in contact with the virus whether through an infected removable storage medium, infected downloaded file, or infected email attachments becomes infected unless virus protection software is used to prevent it. Okay? So, manang, uh, it's very important you to install uh, uh, kanyang, ano bito, soft, uh, vi antivirus software, no? So that if ano man ay mga malicious na or suspicious na mga uh, data at least mo pump mo prompt na siya no so this is how the ano uh, no? uh how the virus or spread no it's like ninja sa coronavirus actually <laughs> no we cannot deny then the this pandemic kanito din so it's not just people as well as this uh robots or the computers also spread ano now so another types of ano then computer sap who touch aside the, from the worm the virus we have this trojan trojan horse so it's a malicious program that masquerades as something as something else so it usually um 
usually appears to be a game or utility program then cannot replicate themselves must be downloaded and installed so we have these uh, rogue antivirus programs or scareware are common to today then mo siya na tay uh, ransomware then another one is mobile malware so since we are using this uh, most of us are using mobile phones so can infect smartphones media tablets printers etc so smartphones with bluetooth are particularly are with bluetooth are particularly vulnerable to attack so ayan ha it's using only the bluetooth ha not uh, of course um uh, Mono po din siya sa share it, no? Do ang share it are uh, using now this uh, wireless connection, no? I mean the Wi-Fi ba? So, mobile threats are expected to continue to increase. So, mona siya ang isa rin kariso na ang kanya itong uh, cell phone talaga um, yung, so na, hinay na yung processing ba? It's because because of this uh, mobile malware. So, unaware na kayo ta Ma-aware lang ta it because ang atong mga files di na makita. Just plug kayo dyan na itong uh, phone. Then, of course, yeah, di, basi po sa ano no, kasi nga, daghan po kayo po yung ano po ito, sulod dahi ang imong phone. Tapos gamay lang imong storage ba? So that's one of the reason. Then, we have this DOS or Denial of Server Service Attacks. So, act of sabotage that attempts to flood a network network server or web server with so much activity that is unable to function then distributed uh, dos attacks target popular website and use multiple computers so ayan mo siya so most of this uh, talaga is yung sa web na kanin dos attacks so pag makakuha mo na sa ano maka balita kayo na nagdown ang website no then somehow these uh, hackers then are uh, trying to leave like some uh, pictures nila that this website are controlled by them no so mo na siya mo na mga term na, na DOS attacks kasi nga uh, most of the DOS attacks target popular websites so including the no kanang Facebook so mo na isa na siya na di na mo kasulod no because you already your account was hacked already so this is the uh, figure 9 uh, 9.16 so how a denial of the service dos attack might work so as you can see so hackers uh like it says here that hackers computer send several and simultaneous requests so, mapansin na na nimo kay Sige siya, request per minute mo na. Uh, Lisod po sa part, sa kanya nag-work bitan, nagbantay po sa ano. Okay. Nag-send yun na klase-klase ng mga email. Ito happen na para ma makuha na niya na, uy, can this email is, uh, ano di ay, lahi is siya, pero, I mean, ang pag-send sa email ba, Gina, like, lahat mag nag send sa hackers ko din. Here comes na, kanina, email is interest niya or somehow related ko nuhay sa wag pag open niya, what day gapon. So, each request asks to establish a connection to the server but supplies false return information. In a distributed DOS attacks, multiple computers send multiple requests at one time. Like this one, hello, I'd like some info. So I've been receiving this one as well, no? Sa mo kayo nang sa email. May matinga ako. Tapos sabi na, if this is uh, uh, unknown, ano siya, unknown email address. So did you na ako na gina-open? Delete so na siya, delete. Uh, hello, I'd like some info. Hello, hello, I'd like some info. So the server tries to respond to each request but can't locate the computer because false return information was provided. The server waits for a short period of time before closing the connection, which ties up the server and keeps others from connecting. So, I can't find you. I'll wait and try again. So, ayan. So, I'm busy. I can't help you right now. So, 
So again, this is what, for example, morning uh, computers, hackers' computer, and so morning legitimate. Then the hacker's computer continues to send new requests. So as connection is closed by the server, new request is waiting. This cycle continues, which ties up uh, the server indefinitely. No? So again, mga ayo na pun siya. O ano, hello, I'd like someone info. Now the server becomes so overwhelmed that legitimate requests can get through and eventually the server usually crashes. So sa kadaghan mo, no? mo nang ginatawag na to na spamming, no? Sige, uh, sending hackers and to, uh, di na dyan makaya sa server, no? Mo to uh, mag-down dyan ang service. So mo nang ito na nalili DOS at uh, DOS. Pero however, kanipong sa atong uh, sa tong portal bitaw sa inyong mga grades no uh, well it's not just DOS attack code no it's happen lang na the uh, it can only serve 1000 of course pag daghan kay mag request na sobra na siya so mo to mag response na dili na siya maka open but if makatunong gay mo na ni hawa ng isa 999 na lang Ikaw, isulod na po ka, amon to, ikaw, 1,000 na po ka, mo nang dinit mo kasulod ato sa portal, no? So, mojo na siya, pero it's not a DOS attacks. Now, the data program or website alteration. Sabotage, of course, when a hacker breaches a computer system in order to delete, change data, or modify programs. Then, for example, student changing grades, Employee performing vengeful acts such as deleting or changing corporate data. Uh, data on websites can also be altered. No? So again, yung mga data sa ato mga website, pwede siya makambuyan, no? When it comes to ano, pag mahack siya. So hacking into changing social networking accounts contents like Facebook pages, Twitter tweets, etc. Di lang po dyan ang ano no, kaning contents. Pati dyan ang imong account, di nakakasulod sa Facebook. So, altering legitimate site to perform malware attacks. So, on how are we going to protect this, ano, uh, this, uh, this type of app? No? Protecting against uh, computer sabotage. So, the, first, uh, the best thing to do talaga is... Uh, typically, a suit of programs, uh, I mean, we use this uh, security software or the antivirus, is that what we call, no? So, typically, a suit of programs used to protect your computer against a variety of threats. No? Mono siyang security software. And, of course, um, best example talaga is ang antivirus software. Used to detect and eliminate computer viruses and other types of malware. Should be set up to run continuously to check incoming email messages, instant messages, web page content, and downloaded files. So, nana ko ang you know, nine types of anti. I'm not really sure if ang adva. Yes, ang advas din naga control na siya. Then quarantines any suspicious content as it arrives. No, mo pop up din na siya. Are you, uh, do you, are you sure you want to download this one? Oh, moing ana na ang uh, quad pop up sa antivirus na. Should be set to perform regular system scans. So kaning regular system scan, so mo ni siya ang best for the flash drive, no? Mo nang careful yun ta ng mga flash drive na to. Dili ta patag pass lock sa tong unique, especially gikan na sa no in, internet cafes. So, mo dyan ang kasagaran sa una kasi nga daghan kay unaware no, ng mga students. I mean, sa iLab, even sa computer laboratory, no, na in fact, nandiyan tiwan tayo, in fact, may atatong cumlab na to because of uh, students who are inserting this, ano din. So, murag, ang student ang nagdala sa malware ba yun siya? Or sa worm, insert niya sa uh, laboratory because ang atong Lab, lab is ano man siya, naka-server type naman siya. Of course, nasudlan ang server ta. Infected ta na. Then, keep your security software up to date as new malware is introduced at all time. Okay? So, please update your software because uh, 
This is true. New malware is uh, introduced all the time. I mean, that means that uh, since there are also uh, updates of the software, so of course, not just the software um, update, also these types of malware, no? so that it could attack this specific uh, software. So we have these ISPs and webmail provide providers today is also offer some malware protection to their subscribers, no? So mismo na talaga kaning ano mga providers naga ga offer sa ila mga customers. Now, other security precautions, control access to computers and networks. So capable pa siya. Then intrusion protection system can help business detect and protect against a denial of service or DOS attacks. So this is uh, figure uh, 9.17, no? Security software. So bani siya, ay ako ni zoom daw be. Ayan. Pag paslock ni mo, ang antivirus software typically finds and remove viruses, worms, and other malware. No? Saan na, pag paslock ni mo, ayan. Mula boss na ni siya. A virus has been detected. Uh, moment siya. <laughs> then, ay, of course, ipadilit. I-clean ko no, hi. No? I-clean. Pap, pap, pap. Pwede. O sa hype, judi siya maklean. Mas ka nung saan. Then, we have this anti-spyware software. Typically finds and removes spyware and tracking cookies. Then we have this uh, mobile software finds and remove mobile malware. Okay. So I hope you have installed your antivirus in your own laptop. Now nothing. Uh, there is what we call now the trend box. So trend box beyond fingerprint readers or digital tattoos and more. So, uh, facial gestures can be used to unlock phone by smiling or winking, uh, winking at it. So, some include liveness check. So, of course, Karon Kai, we are using uh, our fingerprint man to open our, our phone, diba. So, future alternatives for logging individuals on the, the device or secure website. So, we have this digital tattoo. Tattoos are stamped onto skin. Grabe na dyan. And authentication pills are swallowed. So sa also that this ano din, authentication pills not really to swallow but inject to our hands, no? Naman to'y kanimaw na siyang katumbagong technology na ginaingon pa dyan nila na 666 daw. <laughs> okay? So ayan, that's it. I hope you already, uh, yeah, you learn about these uh, types of softwares types of uh viruses in relation to our topic of this um network and internet security so we will continue in a quick quiz so we will continue again this on uh mon monday no then afternoon uh, prepare time for a short quiz na naman okay so, do you have any questions sa mga types of viruses, no? I know you've been uh, wondering talaga. I think wala. So, but anyways, you can, ano na lang, um, Ito, ito. Try secure na lang your questions on Monday if you don't have or you can well it's ano naman yeah ta kahapon pala I forgot it's my ano pala no wala ko ka live day kahapon it's supposed to be my ano may ginawa kasi ako kahapon din uh, it's uh, I supposed to have my uh, ano tawag nito consultation hours no but anyways Okay, so to my student, please stay present for your attendance this morning. And thank you so much for coming. So see you on Monday. Bye, everyone.